Here we are with another episode of PSC Tech Byte, and today I want to talk with you about how you can convert a document into PDF on the fly. In fact, in Microsoft Graph version 1.0, there is full support for converting a OneDrive for Business document into a PDF. This capability supports a bunch of input formats, including the Office client files, as well as CSV files and many other input document formats. And the output, of course, is a PDF file. You can use this functionality, for example, in an Azure Web Job, in an Azure Function, in a Logic Apps or in a Microsoft Flow, or more in general, wherever you need to convert on the fly a document, as long as it is stored in OneDrive for Business, into a PDF file format. So let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to use this functionality using Fiddler at the low level. So here we are in Fiddler and we can make a few requests targeting the Microsoft Graph and the OneDrive for Business APIs of Microsoft Graph. First of all, we can make a request to get a reference to the OneDrive for Business of my current user. So I simply need to make a get for graphmics.com version 1.0 slash me slash drive. And as you can see, I get back a JSON response with the information about my OneDrive uh, for Business. Moreover, I can get access to the root folder of my OneDrive for Business. And there, in the root folder, I can access uh, the children items, which can be, for example, uh, the files uh, or the folders that I have uh, in my OneDrive for Business. And here we are. This is a list of folders and files that I have. Just for the sake of clarity, let's get uh, one item like uh, this one, for example, which is a folder, as you can see, uh, and it has a specific name, which is folder created via API and some other stuff. Then we can target a specific item using the following syntax. So uh, drive slash item slash the ID of a specific item where the ID can be found uh, in the uh, JSON properties of every single item that we get uh, when we access the children uh, and point, uh, for example, of the root folder. So here I'm getting a reference to a specific file item in the root folder of my OneDrive for Business, which means here I am, this is my OneDrive for Business, and this is the document I'm targeting. In fact, if I go back to Fiddler, you will be able to see that here we have a file, and the file has a specific name, which is sample document 01.x, and this is the document I want to target. Well, if I want to convert this document into a PDF, I will simply need to make a request, a GET request, for the URL of the document slash content question mark format equals PDF which is the output format supported by the Microsoft Graph and the OneDrive for Business APIs. So making this request, and of course, in every single request, I will have to provide the access token from an open authorization perspective. I will execute this request and I will get back, first of all, a 302, which is a found and redirect uh, response. And then the redirect will be, target a new, uh, will be targeting a new URL, which will be the URL through which I will be able to access the PDF file of my document. Just for the sake of clarity, let me get the URL that you can see here in the location uh, of the 302 response. And this URL can be used in the browser to have full access to the PDF uh, conversion of my document, which from a Word uh, source document perspective was s just a file with sample document inside of it. And here I have the PDF format. Using any low level HTTP client, I can get the content. And if you look at the uh, hexadecimal view, for example, of this response, you can see here we have a PDF file, and this is the binary content of the converted file converted into PDF. So you can use an HTTP client of .NET, for example, and you can save through a file stream the PDF or a file system, or you can attach the PDF to an email message or whatever else you like to do. That's it, pretty easy. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.